I've been in your shoes before. You're on the internet looking for everything to help you figure out how to make money as a teenager. You're looking at surveys, apps, tutoring, all types of things. And you're just like, this is way too much. Like, it's not as easy as everybody's saying it. And I need somebody who's going to get down to the core and teach me how to make this cash. You're in the right place right now because I'm finna teach y'all brick to brick, head to head, how to make money as a teenager. I've made plenty of these videos before. If you're interested, when you're done watching this video, make sure you check out the playlist on how to make money as a teenager. I've got it over thousands of views, thousands of reviews, thousands of people who has made money from watching my videos. So you're in the right place. I'm definitely here to help you. And this is coming off the top of my head. I don't have a list today. I have work in like an hour. So I'm about to get straight to the point. So the first way on how to make money as a teenager is you can start off with these PEBT cards. I'm not going to say sell your food stamps, get you locked up, all this dumb stuff. No. What I'm going to say is I found out that kids had PEBT cards. I had a PEBT card, which my grandpa has right now, and I'm waiting for him to give it back. But anyways, PBT cards were over $800, $700 on it, and y'all just spending it every day at Wawa, the poppy store, just getting snacks for yourself. But if you realize we're back in school now, either if you have a PEBT card in Philadelphia or if you have a regular EBT card, ask your parents to borrow it. Because what I'm going to say is you can make snack packs. I'm not sure if every school allows you to sell in school, but I used to keep it on a low. I'm definitely going to be asking this year. Um, basically, what I was going to say is you can get big old Ziploc bags, buy hot Cheetos, gum. Everybody asks for gum. Um, you could put... Um, like little granola bars, Reese cups, all types of snacks in there, Gatorades, juices, sodas, Mountain Dew pops, all types of stuff in there, and put it all in one bag and sell them for five to ten dollars each. No more than five to ten dollars, because you know teenagers are very cheap. That's why you're on this video right now. And you can put them in little bags. I used to sell them on my website. I'll put a video up right here, but it used to be boxes. So for school, you want to make packs because you're not really supposed to be doing it unless you're funding the school or doing a fundraiser. That's why it should be small little ziploc bags for school i used to sell them they did really good people love snacks and yeah the next thing on my list is starting a business you can start off your business for less than 500 dollars. i started off my business with exactly 500 dollars. i've got it on my packaging i got a couple things to sell i even did drop shipping so that it can cut down the amount of money that i invested to start drop shipping is basically where you have a vendor alibaba and aliexpress is the number one vendors that i suggest they're the vendors i've been using since i was 14 years old they have everything on there so what i'm saying is say you want to start selling like designer bags which i'm going to get into you would take a picture or a screenshot of the bag that's on the or it's on a site and you'll buy a sample of it make tiktoks of it pictures all that you can make because people are going to constantly think that you're a scam if you don't have any proof of you having it on hand so even if you can't buy 75 of these bags to sell on hand at least buy one and i say this because you're going to want to have a video with your business card in it always have your business card in it because then they'll know the name is in it they actually have it they're not scamming me they have it on hand and they can see that you have it on hand. They can see that you're legit. You know what I'm saying? Have your voice in it. Have a nice video, trending video sound in it. You know what I'm saying? And have at least one of those things video recorded. And if you can, buy at least one of each. Ali AliExpress and Alibaba has the most cheapest prices ever. You can get a designer bag for about $50 and sell it for $150, $250. That's $150 profit out of $50 that you made. You know what I'm saying? So... You make a video of one of each of those products, you don't have to buy a book. And I didn't realize that until I got deep into business. You know what I'm saying? You, When I first started, I used to buy like 10 hats and only sell like five. That's why I'm saying you only buy one and you can make videos of it. And then once the person pays for that product, you had the vendor send it to your house and then you send it to their house. No money involved. You only paid one time just to make a video of what you sold, if that makes sense. So that's drop shipping. Drop shipping is basically reselling things that you don't have on hand. You don't pay nothing for it. So say the product on AliExpress is $10, right? And you sell it for $20. That's $10 profit because all you're doing is you charge the person on your site $20, right? And then you give $10 to the vendor for them sunglasses. And then you keep $10 profit. You didn't pay anything. But the only way to keep it legit and make sure people are not like skitting about it, you pay for one. That's only $10 out of your pocket to record it, film it, and you have one of them to show people like, yeah, these are real. Like, it's not just a picture. And then 
once you buy that one, people going to keep buying it, keep buying it, keep buying it, and you only paid one time. You know what I'm saying? The next thing on my list is reselling sneakers. So this is a little bit costly but if you have like money from christmas money from your birthday save that up because you can buy old sneakers from depop poshmark you can buy sneakers from like like retail stores like um the fashion plug sneakers are you um sneakers like that they they sell them for retail 100 dollars, 140 every sneaker on a site is about 100 to 140 no more than 150 dollars and you sell it for 250 i'm talking about jordan for retros i'm talking about uh dunks i'm talking about yeezy slide like i'm also starting my sneaker plug business i didn't start yet i'm waiting for all my products to come in you could buy designer sneakers off of aliexpress they have balenciagas that are about 83 dollars on there like if you have welfare if you have money from christmas like all that i'm, I'm keeping it real invest you know what I'm saying? They have they have like stuff that's on sale right now. You can look in the um reviews. Ali the good thing about AliExpress is that they is that they have reviews. They have pictures of people putting up the packaging. If the material is real, if the stitching is off, they'll tell you straight off the bat from the reviews. So make sure you check the reviews. The only thing about Alibaba is that they don't have picture reviews at all. That's the only reason why I like AliExpress more. The shipping is a little bit mm, two to three weeks to a month, but it's definitely worth it and affordable. So I know you guys are probably like, well, how do I sell these items? Like, wh where do I sell these items at? So basically, I prefer selling on Instagram. I have a website, but with selling sneakers, you want to be really careful because it's not your brand. It's not like selling fake designer bonnets or stuff like that because people don't really that's not really a brand it's something that somebody recreated with that sign with that logo it's not as serious as reselling sneakers so you would want to sell sneakers on the low that's why you're called a plug like a plug you're not really supposed to be selling off the street that's what medical marijuana is for that's like the only reason why weed is really legal so practically um you would be a plug that means you're on the low so you'll sell on you can sell on Instagram or you can sell on a reselling app like Depop. I would suggest selling on Depop or Instagram. I'm choosing Instagram because it's easier for me and my preference. I would have a link tree. A link tree is basically where you can put multiple links to multiple websites or URLs in your bio. So basically, I would have my PayPal and my Cash App. You can accept Cash App, PayPal, Zenmo, Veli, all that. But I'm only accepting PayPal and Cash App because that's all I really feel like open to do right now right what you accept for payments in your bio you'll put all the information that you want them to know in the bio like two to three week shipping um get a shoe plug you're like a designer plug or like um like what you sell or something like that um check reviews check highlights and in your highlights you could put like what on hand means what what uh pre-shipping mean pre-ordering is basically when they order something but it's going to take two to three weeks because you got to get it from the vendor first that's what drop shipping is what i just taught you guys you can say that you have it on hand which means it's already at your house you could directly ship it to them in two to three days things like that you need to put a policy in there you want a strict policy because people are going to try to play on your intelligence like oh um once it's out of my care if it gets broken, stolen, or damaged while it's getting shipped, that's not none of my business because at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't have anything to do with the post office does with your package. And I know that sounds kind of shitty, but it's true. And you don't have time to be refunding money back to back to back to back and they still got your sneakers. You know what I mean? So that's what I had to go over before y'all went over and be like, damn, what is she talking about? Okay, so here's another topic that I forgot to go over because I'm Sariana and I always forget so basically it's how to ship off the sneakers you want to make a pirate ship account i already have a pirate ship account that's connected to my big cardo account for my regular business but since this is but since this is not going to be connected to a website you're going to want to create a pirate ship account so basically your pirate ship account is where you can print out shipping labels from home so if you want to do that and you're interested in doing that you're going to need a shipping label printer they run from a hundred dollars to like 350 you only need a hundred dollar one you're not doing anything that big i have one that's 140 dollars and you'll get a shipping label and what you would do is you would print out the shipping label with all the information that the customer has given you their name their email address their phone number you really don't need all that just their name and their and their email and their address should be enough i need to be careful crossing the street because right here i almost got hit last weekend okay 
<laughs> it's like no but you're gonna need that and then you print out the label and you can get free boxes which i didn't know until like eight months into business you can get free packages from let me see if this door is open you can get free packages from the usps for free about 25 you can get as many as you want order as many times as you want you can get free poly mailers all that they give you everything and you can get free boxes that you can ship your sneakers in or you can pay for your shipping labels at the post office so that's how you ship off your packages the next thing on my list is starting a youtube channel this is the most time consuming thing on my list but i know a lot of people would recommend it to you i just got monetized last may i've made over 300 dollars from youtube so far and i know i got monetized a minute ago when it took a while for everything to process for them to check my taxes information all of that it's a good little bit right now but i wasn't as consistent and if i would have stayed consistent all throughout those months i got paid exactly the same amount every time i got a check because that's how many times i uploaded that month so if i would have stayed consistent i would have made way more because then i would have got way more views so the more consistent you are consistency goes with everything and if you don't realize that by now you're not going to get anywhere in life because consistency goes with everything nobody's going to remember you because everybody's doing down there the same thing that's why i always say use your own unique skill into everything the next thing on my list is graphics you can learn how to make an intro in less than 10 minutes on youtube there are plenty of tutorials to teach you how to make intros i personally had to learn how to make intros on youtube i watched multiple tutorials and stuff like that i learned how to make intros outros banners cutouts all that just from youtube learn how to make those because those are never going to stop trending because there's always going to be people with youtube channels and always going to be people with like trying to start a youtube channel and trying to get all the graphics in before they start so the best way to make money off of this you start a page you learn how to make a logo or get a logo made you get a logo made you learn how to make intros you start making intros of people who already have a fan base so say you go on tiktok you screenshot about 10 people's tiktok that's what i always do you screenshot about 10 people's tiktoks you make each and every one of them an intro or a banner and then you tag them on that post and you put a whole bunch of hashtags i'm gonna put some hashtags up here you put a whole bunch of hashtags and then you tag them you tag them in the comments at least five times go on your main page tag them five times and then once they see it they're gonna most likely repost it and then when they repost it you get more people coming to your page you get more orders you can start a website on job form for free and you can put up on like all your listings on there so that people don't have to dm you constantly they just they book you right in the website on drop form and then that's where you get all your bookings from i have over 100 followers on my intros page but i'm not consistent anymore i've gained 100 followers in three days just by making intros of people who have followers and then they repost it and then i kept getting bookings after that so that's the best way to make money off of intros it's quick and easy money intros can come about from 15 to 20 dollars outros you can make a bundle and sell it for 35 you can make thumbnails for 10 you can edit people with videos for 50 like a lot of money comes into this all you have to do is do your research keep learning the new trends like stop motions all that learn all that because it's all on youtube it's all on a platform for you to like observe it's always ways to make money and you guys just like it be skipping over your heads you know what i'm saying the next thing on my list is starting an atm machine business so what is an atm machine business i said this in my last video but anybody who's viewing me now and like is a new subscriber or is just now watching me i wanted to add this in, in every single video because it's not well known and is kind of underrated so basically an atm business is where you buy an atm machine and you install it into somebody else's store and you bring in foot traffic and every time they use your atm machine you make surcharge off of that so say they get out 175 dollars that's doubled so you'll make 275 and they'll keep doubling and doubling and doubling um basically you only put about a thousand dollars in there and whenever it empties you come and you refill the machine so the machine can cost around from a thousand to ten thousand dollars um you don't really need like the newest machine it needs to be a nice well like working machine um it runs off a of wi-fi it could be wireless and it can and it can have wires um you can have somebody install it for you from a hundred to four hundred dollars basically what you do is all you need is a contract this is the main points that i want you to add on your contract if you do start a, a atm business you want a month-to-month -month contract because say you put it in a place that you thought had great foot traffic but then the business start to slows down because maybe their prices went up or their food started to 
become trash not giving anymore and you're not making any money because people is not coming into that business anymore what you would want a month-to-month -month contract is so that you could take out that machine at any time you want not any time but at least the next following month if you had a year-to-year -year contract you have to wait a whole 365 days just to take that atm machine out and you would make no good money in that whole year so you want a month-to-month -month contract that's the first thing on your list the second thing on your list is how much you're going to be paying them you don't owe them anything you're not obligated to give them money but it's a nice way to start off to roll them in you get 15 percent commission you get 10 percent commission 20 percent no more than 20 percent commission guys you're literally cheating yourself if you give them 30 percent 40 percent you're you're going off the board because you don't know how much money you're going to start making because you don't know how much foot traffic they're really going to get every single day that's why you really pay attention to how much foot traffic they get into their store. You want them to have a stable amount commission on that paper so that they won't be able to say, oh, um, you're getting a lot of people in my business. I want to know if I can get 30%. No, you sign a contract that says 15%. That's all you can get. They cannot do anything about that. That's why you want to have a lawyer. And I'm going to list some sites down below on how to get one of those. You want to have an LLC. That's all you really need, a contract and an LLC. A LLC is just a, a license saying that you're legal and it has the name on it, all of that. You want an ATM sign. You ever walk past a store that says ATM here? You need one of those, especially if they have a clear glass window. You definitely want to go in a store that has a clear glass window so that you can add that sign in a window make sure you ask for permission before you do that so that people can like people literally walk past stores to find somewhere that has atm and they're not going to walk in every single store they're going to look for signs like that so you have a sign up that says atm is here and they come in and use your atm that's how you make commission if you want to learn more about that i have more videos about that and i can definitely make a video that based on that subject so the next thing on my list is you can start doing hair, you can start doing lashes, you can start doing nails. And there's so many videos that, that can teach you how to do those things. You can get kits for that on online and stuff like that. The next thing on my list isn't really good for the people who have social anxiety or stuff like that or like antisocial. Well... If you are, get out of that shell, sis, because I definitely am. Winter time is coming up. You definitely want to start shoveling people with snow, steps, uh, walkway, all of that. So start walking around, knocking on people's doors, make sure that their stuff is full of snow. Ask them, hey, you want to like, you wanna let me shovel your snow for like $10, $15? Like, get that coin, get that coin, get that coin, get that coin. Because it's, it's about to be that time of the year. You can start be selling all your summer clothes because summertime is over, y'all. We are teenagers. We're still growing. So start selling your summer clothes. If that's okay with your parents start selling reselling your uh sneakers and stuff on depop poshmark i suggest depop it's more trending now than poshmark is so that's all i really have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want any other tips or tricks on how to make money as a teenager i could definitely do a part i don't know to this video and i'll make another one so comment down below if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe drop any questions that you have down below i am more than bored and free to help you guys with anything i need help with yes so I hope you guys with anything that y'all need and I hope you guys this video. It's your girl Sarah and Sarah and it's out. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications and like this video. Bye.